jest Grzegorz Szymański. Uh, I work for, in data art uh, for three years and uh, I'm Java developer for ten, uh, over 10 years and uh, I would like to to um, to talk uh, today about Hystrix and uh, first questions. Uh, how many of you heard about Hystrix already? Oh, nice. Okay, and uh, how many of you use it, use Hystrix uh, in production? Okay, so that's 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 good news uh, because uh, maybe uh, you will learn something new. Uh, so let's start. Uh, mm, first, short uh, about uh, the agenda. We will uh, shortly uh, discuss uh, about distributed systems. Uh, we will see simple demo and and uh, I hope uh, make some observation. And uh, after that, uh, we will uh, I will introduce uh, uh, Hystrix. Uh, I will show you metrics. Uh, again, there will be a demo, and we will talk also about the cost of using this uh, library. Uh, do you hear me well? Okay. <coughs> and uh, after that, uh, I will show you how can we configure uh, this library. What are the options and? and uh, some hints about configuration. And uh, there will be also about two uh, advances advanced features of, of this library, about uh, request collapsing and uh, request caching. So let's start. The, 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 the simple example of uh, distributed system is uh, like that. So we have uh we have a uh, uh, application which uh, offers some 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 uh, services and we have uh, another one application which is a client uh, and use uh, these services uh, a little bit more complicated uh, not too complex but uh, uh on that example, uh, on this uh, example, we will see uh, mm, uh, very important thing, because as you can see now, we have uh, only six uh, nodes in the net and uh, two, uh, let's say, uh, storages, which are also uh, a part of this this net. And between this this application, be between these microservices, there are uh, some relations. Uh, as you can see, they consume uh, their, their their service, their services. So uh, now let's think uh, what can go wrong in that system, and maybe for example. Uh, one of the storages will mm, will be broken. It can be many things. It can be network connection. It can be uh, uh, software issue, mm, a bug, or uh, some maintenance. For example, upgrade. Some and uh, the 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 most Im important thing is that. It uh, stop response or it uh, become responses uh, become latent. So, uh, what what is the result? Uh, the first uh, uh, that the this client, which uh, is uh, the direct consumer of the of the of the service, which will wi will be affected by this issue. And uh, it will start. Uh, mm, it, it will stop uh, response, or it responses will be latent. 
uh, la latent, right? So and but what's uh, even worse, uh, this uh, will probably propagate to the clients of this uh, application of of this microservice. So at the end, we will uh, even our gateway. Let's say this this uh, uh, this. This node is is uh, public available uh, API uh, is also affected. So our clients will uh, see that uh, our um, system is is broken or it do not respond. And let's uh, stay about uh, let's stay for for a second uh, with this example because uh, as you can see some p uh, some part of the system uh, is not aff affected by by this issue right uh, so why why i said that uh, all clients will uh, see the problem uh, Let's uh, uh, let's say that we use uh, our, our microservices, our applications are uh, uh, deployed on on Tomcat server, and the uh, mm, def default configuration of of the Tomcat is uh, that it has uh, two hundred uh, user threads, right, and. Uh, so so let's say that we we, we have uh, huge traffic uh, 100 of the requests uh, uses this part of the system and uh, the other part of the system let's say it uses this uh, part of the system right M maybe mm, maybe this connection uh, is not necessary for 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 all the re the requests so uh what uh, so at, at uh, f the first uh, idea is that this this part of th of the system should work I if this connection uh, isn't mm, necessary uh but uh, mm, let's uh, think uh, about the propagation of this of this uh, issue uh one uh, more thing uh, for for each connection we will have uh, 10 threads uh, maybe a little but uh, it should be enough and uh, you will see uh, later on that uh, such small number of threads should be uh, in many cases uh, enough uh, so if this uh, 10 uh, threads, 10 connections uh, is latent, latent then uh, uh, soon or, la or, or, la or later uh, user threads uh, on, on this node will be uh, saturated because uh <coughs> uh only let's say that uh, 100 requests uh, will will uh, will be received by by this uh, node and only 10 uh, at w at once can be executed but usually they are executed very fast so this is a not not this is not a problem and uh, we don't have uh, issue with this however if they uh, become l b became lat latent, uh, uh, the ten uh, ten requests will be executed, and probably after some timeout will be re uh, rejected or or timeouted, and uh, ninety uh, the the rest ninety uh, will uh, stay in the queue. And let's say that the timeout is one second, and uh, in each uh, after w after each second, we will have another 
uh, 90 uh, uh, new requests in a queue and only 10 of them will be executed and they will end with uh, timeout and we will uh, very, very soon we will uh, have full, uh, no empty no free uh, user thread and uh, what's e even worse uh, in front of this uh, user threads uh, user thread pool uh, on Tomcat there is a queue and this queue is uh, very long it has uh, 10,000 uh, entries so uh, this queue will be longer and longer so even if uh, this uh, storage will be fixed we will have a long queue to process right so uh, we will uh, saturate uh, user requests we will also mm, uh, they will also have uh, uh, mm, need memory right so and the same situation will happen uh, to their clients because we, we, we have no isolation. We, we, we only uh, set uh, timeouts for, for connections. Uh, and at, at the end, uh, and, and this is uh, the more, si more, more interesting, <coughs> here the situation will be that at the beginning, 100 of threads uh, of the request will uh, uh, will wait for for a connection to uh, to this uh, node, and this uh, uh, another 100 requests will will be executed. But after a few seconds, uh, uh, the connection to um, to this to this uh, mm, broken part of the system will saturate uh, also this user threads so that's that's we will end with uh, a system which is not res respond because there is no uh, free threads uh, to execute uh, requests for this uh, mm, uh, for this part of the system which which uh, works okay so uh, do you have any questions or maybe comments okay so uh, let's go uh, further uh, we'll start uh, with very simple application we'll have uh, some service we this will be our dependency and we will see we will have uh, also our api and uh, there will be also a configuration service just to which uh, allows us to to uh, change config configuration uh, uh, in fly and we will see how how this works uh, first we will check I if it if it is work and then we will try to see some uh, some results under uh, the traffic. So let's go. Let's go to application. Okay. <coughs> mm. Maybe our uh, it is already started right uh, from the command line, and. Uh, uh, just uh, one uh, second about uh, configuration of the service. We can uh, set uh, mean time of the response and uh, also uh, standard deviation. Uh, however, we'll start with uh, displaying um, values because it would be easy to to see how it works and. Uh, with Demeter, um, and m maybe one question: How many of you uh, you uh, has opportunity to work with Demeter? Okay, 
quite a lot, a half. Okay, so you probably uh, know how it works. However, just to, to see the, this configuration, uh, we will have 20 threads. Uh, they will start with, with, with within one second and they will uh, um, work until we will stop them. Uh, and they will uh, do a HTTP request uh, to our endpoint. Uh, it is uh, under this uh, uh, port and uh, this path. And uh, with some uh, with some additional uh, random timer to 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 get more realistic uh, result. And let's try to execute it. And we'll see. Uh, okay, uh, these are the results. We see that uh, an average is uh, 100 millisecond, and uh, so near al almost uh, this, which we saw in the configuration, uh, mean uh, is also this uh, value. Uh, I will clear uh, the result because at the beginning. Uh, connection needs to be established, and uh, this needs uh, need this takes times and affects the, the results. Uh, and we see that uh, fraud put is uh, about, let's say, 20 uh, requests per second. So almost every uh, hour thread uh, can be uh, executed per one once uh, every second, and. Uh, this uh, chart uh, shows uh, how uh, responses uh, for certain per percentile uh, are. Uh, do you know how to read this uh, chart? Uh, or or do, I, do I need to exp explain it a little bit? Maybe uh, short, uh, 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 let's see, first example. 50, 50 percentiles, uh, we have the value uh, 106, let's say, and this means that uh, uh, half of the population of this request uh, has response time uh, 100 milliseconds or less, and a half has uh, that time or more. And for, for each uh, size of the population, we can uh, say what is value, right? Uh, okay. So maybe we will change it a little bit. We will add some deviation to see how it change. So now we see that uh, an average uh, uh, is uh, mediana. So 50 percent is uh, at uh, 100 milliseconds, and we have uh, deviation uh, 50, uh, as we see in the configuration, uh, 50 millisecond uh, less and and more, right? So so this uh, this chart uh, looks uh, like that, and now let's see. What what will happen if uh, we the the situation will be worse? May, maybe I will set uh, that response will take uh, much longer, and let's let's see what's happened. <coughs> uh, now we. We have uh, the same uh, chart, the, the only the, the values were changed. Let's uh, make it even worse. Let's say 200 milliseconds. So, so it became it becomes light lightened, and now uh, something strange happened. Uh, we see that 80 percent, uh, and and it is uh, less and less. Ends with uh, 
above one second, and then there is a, a huge uh, um, uh, increase up to uh, two uh, seconds. So, and this uh, and stays at at, at two uh, seconds, and. <coughs> Maybe uh, someone of you have uh, idea what what is uh, the reason of that. Uh, this is quite simple. Uh, this is a timeout connection, so they are uh, actually uh, maybe anyhow, maybe I will show that. Just a second. I will, I will increase it even more, maybe it will be even better to see. Uh, they, they don't want to... We will attack them and... Uh, just a second, I I want to show that clearly. Okay, for they are actually they are not uh, timeouted. They they should be, but they are not. L so let's check. Uh, let's check uh, configuration. And yes, we mm. I prepare a, a, a trap for you, but. Uh, it didn't work uh, live. It's it's work <laughs> before presentation. But uh, I will say uh, what uh, what was uh, the issue. What should be the issue? Uh, I didn't uh, set. Um, uh, maybe check. Okay. I didn't set uh, connection manager. I, I didn't set. Uh, any configuration for for request config because I said that my primary uh, that my pri primary configuration uh, will be this, and this uh, REST and play use uh, default uh, request factory, which uh, use HTTP URL connections, and by default they can have only five persistent connections to the same host. And this should cause uh, that we will have uh, a long queue. Uh, I don't know what's happened now and because they, they work. Uh, mm, they, they should. I will try to, just a second, I will try to restart this. Maybe, maybe this, and if if it doesn't help, uh, then we will go further. Okay, let's let's go back to geometer. Let's prepare it. Classic one, classic is everything is correct. Some report. <laughs> Maybe I will, I will show it at the end. However, uh, we should. Uh, I will switch it to uh, to the this proper configuration and uh, let's talk about a little bit about this uh, this uh, configuration but this it is uh, really important uh, the first uh, value connect timeout 
uh, is is a time which we mm, the maximum time which we want to spend uh, waiting for establishing the new connection uh, they will be kept uh, in a connection pool so not every time we will have to wait this time uh, this value uh, however uh, sometimes they can be released from 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 pool so it happens that uh, we will uh, wait this time <coughs> uh, after that uh, um, maybe that's because this uh, value is so high uh, Oh, th this should probably is this the cause of my trouble. So, yeah, let's back for 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 a second. Live demos has its th their own laws, uh, so it is it happens. Oh yeah, now now we see 100% errors. That's what I w would like to show you. Yeah, uh, I have uh, wrong configuration for for this example. Uh, however, it shouldn't use this uh, even. So, uh, but let's. Let's uh, talk uh, what's happened. Um, uh, most of the request uh, ends uh, after one second, which is uh, which is this connection request time, and this connection request time is time that we spend waiting from connection from pool. So. In in the pool, we have uh, for five connections, and uh, for ho per host per per route, and uh, but we have twenty uh, diameters threads, which uh, do request. So most of them needs to needs to uh, wait, and uh, they w will wait uh, one second, and after that they will. Uh, uh uh give up if they manage to get this connection they will wait for data and uh, this is uh, sometimes it is called read timeout uh, for, for this configuration it is socket timeout and uh, we set it uh, into uh, one and a half seconds and uh, this is very important to understand that Maybe we, we can see this also in Jemeter. So, okay, maybe let's talk about this. Uh, if you think that this is the maximum amount of time that you will spend waiting for data when you have a connection, uh, then you are wrong because. Uh, actually, this is uh, the maximum uh, amount of time between uh, two uh, uh, two packages sent by uh, our uh, our service sent sent to us. So, if we have uh, bad luck, then for example, instead of stream of data, we can uh, have a leak of data, right? So packages can be sent, and some pa few packages can be sent. Then will be a, a, a pause. Uh, it can take uh, one second, for example, and then uh, uh, some more packages will s will be sent to us, and and again there will be a pause. But if this pause will be shorter than one uh, and a half second then we will wait because this uh, configuration is about this uh, interval between packages so we can wait uh, for the response for minutes even although we have one and a half milliseconds and this uh, can be a problem because uh, 
configuration uh, looks at the first sight uh, that we we are uh, protected, but uh, we will end with a long uh, w w long waiting for 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 data, right? Okay. <coughs> so maybe let's back to presentation. Uh, and what is Hitrix for? Uh, Hitrix. Uh, will give us protection over this la latency as we saw, maybe not in, in JMeter as I uh, wanted to show you, but uh, you, need, you need to believe me that uh, this latency could be uh, very high. So, and we have, uh, we have no uh, tool no no options to control it and this is give us a protection and uh, we will see how it is achieved and also it gives us uh, protection against failures uh, from dependencies and uh, Hystrix uh, doesn't care whether this are uh, connect network connection or just a code some some part of code which can be latent it can be, for example, uh, we can have some kind of uh, sort implemented without the network even. And sometimes it takes too much time and we want to have control over that. So we can use Hystrix to wrap this code and have uh, metrics, have uh, timeouts. Uh, so it is Hystrix is mostly used for, for network because usually the network is the issue, Usu usually the network I, uh, is lat latent, but uh, history is, is uh, let's say, network agnostic. And <coughs> it, would al it, would also, uh, it will also help us to stop these cascading failures, as we saw on that uh, second example. Uh, especially it is uh, a problem in uh, uh, huge complex uh, systems and uh, Hystrix uh, implements uh, a pattern fail fast which means that we should uh, inform user that there is a problem as fast as we can rather than uh, wait until maybe it will uh, end with a success or it will be timeouted. If we have a very good uh, uh, reason, um, we see that th this, uh, this dependency, this service, almost uh, every time uh, responds with an error or with a huge latency which we don't accept, then we can say that, okay, let's give up, let's uh, say our cl customers, our users, that uh, it that doesn't work. Uh, and also Hystrix will uh, help us to, to recover as fast as possible. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, opportunity to, to provide alternative value in case uh, of problems with latency, problem with, uh, with uh, some errors. Uh, from from this this uh, dependency, and uh, if we do not define uh, in in Hystrix this alternative value is called fallback, and if we d do not define this fallback, we will have uh, an exception, right? L like uh, uh, in normal systems. Uh, however, uh, fallbacks are uh, a very good uh, idea, and uh, people from from Netflix, uh, which create uh, histories, um, uh, they they prefer if you have possibility to to uh, mm, define fallback, then you you should uh, do this, and uh, they encourage to to define fallbacks, uh, and we'll see. Uh, this will uh, I will show you uh, history dashboard, which shows in a real time what's happening under the hood, uh, what's uh, what's are the metrics, 
and we will see how how Histrix uh, makes decision. Uh, also, you can uh, these metrics are are um, available for 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 developers. We can use uh, use them to alerting uh, to uh, some some operational control. Uh, few slides about uh, design pr principle principles. Uh, uh, as we talked uh, earlier, uh, the problem is that uh, a single dependency, single uh, external service, can uh, cause uh, disaster to to our whole application because it will use all con containers user threads. And uh, uh, this was one, one of uh, the principle, and uh, another one was uh, that uh, HISIC should shield the, the load, and uh, as was said before, failing fast, uh, instead of queuing, because queuing uh, is a uh, very bad idea, because even if we recover, then we will have um, long queue to process, uh, long queue of request to process. So we will need more time to uh, go back to the normal operational. <coughs> uh, we talked already about f fallbacks uh, and uh, Histrix will isolate uh, dependencies and in that way will uh, limit the impact. Uh, so particular dependency will not affect each other. Uh, it will also help us to, to discover uh, the problem and uh, help us to, to recover because we can change configuration uh, in life and uh, uh, the last thing is that uh, Histrix protect us not only uh, about this uh, network calls but we can have also some code with this which prepare data for, 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 for the request and which uh, consumes this data. And this code can be also affected. So if you wrap with a Histrix command uh, all this code, all this code, then we will have um, protection uh, to, to, the, to the whole solution. And uh, how it works in practice. Uh, so each uh, call to external system and in general uh, uh, each por portion of the code which we need to protect uh, is wrapped by a command object and uh, this is a command pattern uh, and these commands uh, are executed within a separate threads uh, and, and that's why we can uh, have timeouts for that thread. Uh, so we can say that even if we will wait until uh, we will get the response, right? We, we saw that uh, we cannot uh, set maximum time for waiting. Uh, we can having a separate thread for which uh, execute uh, uh, request to the external service uh, gives us uh, this this option to have a timing on that on that thread and that's why we can say uh, we can uh, leave the client uh, and and uh, wait until the connection will will finish but the client will will be free it can it can get uh, this fallback as a, as one as an answer or uh, an exception, but it will get it fast. For example, by default, Histrix uh, 
uh, has uh, one second uh, timeout, and does mean that uh, every uh, piece of code which is wrapped by hysterix command will not execute more than one second. We, we can of course uh, we, we can and we should configure it this uh, for each command separately, tune this uh, on production, and uh, but uh, uh, the default value is one 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 second, and uh, uh, this thread uh, comes from a small thread pool, which is. Uh, created and, and maintaining for each history command. So is his each history command has its own thread pool. And uh, we prepare history command for each request to external system, right? So we can have many, but very small uh, thread pools. And there is also a, 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 a another solution uh, use semaphore, uh, and I will tell you about this uh, in a second. But uh, just a hint: threads uh, cost something, not a lot, but cost something. Uh, there are cases when uh, we do not accept this cost, and uh, then we can use semaphore. Uh <coughs> And if this uh, thread pool uh, becomes full, uh, then uh, uh, the, the, the feature request will be immediately uh, rejected. They won't be queued. So we, have, uh, the we will have uh, immediately answer to, to the other clients, clients if the traffic will be uh, over our limits then uh, our uh, users will get uh, alternative values, uh, alternative answers, these fallbacks, or, or, or these uh, reject exceptions, but they will, give, uh, they will receive it immediately, and this is very important. Uh, and we will have uh, <coughs> Hystrix uh, measure uh, the metrics like successes, failures, Clients exceptions, timeouts, and uh, threat re rejection, uh, and other, as I said, uh, we can uh, see them. We can use them, and Hystrix also use them to make decision. And decision is uh, connected with related with circuit breaker. We know circuit breaker from our homes. It is a device which. Uh, uh, can stop uh, the current if it's too high, right? And that's how it protects our electronic devices. And uh, this uh, uh, it was implemented in Hystrix, uh, and uh, it works like that. That if Hystrix uh, see that there is a problem, because, for example, 50% of the request to, uh, to this uh, re resource ends with, uh, for example, timeout, then it takes it uh, trip the wire. It says, OK, I will not uh, uh, send request to that uh, dependency. Instead, I will return uh, fallback or exception to the client, but I will do it immediately. And it wouldn't be so fun if if if, it, it, if this would be the if this would be the 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 the, the whole solution, uh, because Hystrix can do something mm, something more. Uh, After some time, he will allow a single request, which will come to, to, to the Hystrix command, and will send it to this endpoint. This is like a scout. And if this single request uh, will uh, fail, uh, Hystrix will uh, keep uh, circuit open. 
but if this single request uh, ends with success, uh, then uh, then Hystrix uh, will close the the um, the circuit, and uh, traffic will all traffic will be uh, directed into this uh, dependency, right? So uh, Hystrix has free uh, circuit breaker has free state, open, close, and half open. This half open, uh, half half open uh, uh, state is allowing only one request to go, right? And the time uh, default time is, uh, if I remember correctly, one millisecond. Of, con of course, we can change it uh, if you if you want. So it is a kind of automatic circuit breaker which can uh, turn on again. Uh, okay, and uh, now we see how we go with time. Okay, uh, we just two slides to uh, uh, to 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 the end of the first part. So uh, let's see how the the big picture how how Hystrix works. Uh, first, we need to create Hystrix command and Hystrix observable command. Uh, if you know Eric's Java. Then Hystrix observable command is uh, about this kind of programming, right? And but we will focus on the simple, uh, simple uh, example Hystrix command. Uh, we, we need, we need to if we want to have uh, our uh, our code to protected by Hystrix, then we need to extend this Hystrix command and implement uh, uh, construct or, or run. It depends on which which uh, base class we we choose, uh, and uh, put there uh, our code. Uh, we will not we won't focus on on that part. Uh, we'll see that this uh, in the second part uh, in the code. Uh, first first decision is that uh, Hisic checks whether exactly the same command with exactly the same parameters were already ex executed uh, within uh, a scope uh, of and usually it is uh, user request scope uh, we will th uh, this is the last topic uh, for today uh, so we 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 will go into the details at the end however if the value is in in cache, Hystrix won't do uh, real request to to the service. Will instead it will uh, return this cached value, right? So and it can that way it can improve uh, uh, the performance. Then it checks. It checks whether circuit breaker is open. If it is open, then uh, return fallback. Uh, fallback can fail, or not be or, or be not implemented. Uh, good practice. The good practice is that we should implement it fallback in a way that it do not fail, because it sh should be easy code. Because if we need uh, if we have uh, complicated log logic or logic with which can uh, fail in f for fallback, then we should create another Hystrix command and execute it in fallback because without this we have no protection. So we have uh, a, a another point of fail, failure. Uh, okay, but let's say that we have fallback, then uh, this alternative value will be returned, and uh, then Hystrix checks whether there is a uh, free thread uh, in a pool or free semaphore uh, if every uh, if there is no space then again we will get a fallback or exception uh, if we have uh, luck and there is uh, there is a free thread it will uh, it will execute our command and uh, again, uh, execution can fail. If it fails, then we get a fallback, or it will if it will be timeouted, then we again get a fallback. 
and if everything works fine then we will get a real real answer from mm, the service uh, is everything clear okay so this maybe looks complicated but uh, this library do everything for us and you will see how how few lines of code we need to configure Hystrix uh, to work uh, that way. And uh, uh, cost of using threads. Uh, this this is the, 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 the diagram from, from Hystrix documentation from their production and they uh, saw that uh, for for this comment, which is executed billion uh, times a day, uh, the mean, uh, so half of the user, uh, half of the users, uh, maybe uh, another way, user me, uh, user mean, it is the the time spent uh, on executing command from user perspective, so the whole time with Hystrix uh, and the and the real execution uh, uh, of the command, and uh, uh, mean is uh, this real time spent on the request. So we see that uh, for for uh, the mean is uh, the the mean cost is one millisecond. And uh, for uh, for example, uh, the median, so 50% uh, of population, is uh, we we don't see any cost. We see the cost for one percent uh, of the request, and uh, it is about uh, nine, if I uh, yes, nine milliseconds. But uh, also time spent on uh, the re request is quite huge, so uh, proportion aren't so uh, high. So we see that there is a cost of using threads. We, we have alternative for this. And this al alternative is, is the semaphores. And semaphores, uh, the advantages of semaphores is that they cost almost nothing. But disadvantage is that they cannot be timeouted because there is no thread which can be timeouted. But they allow us to uh, have uh, all the monitoring, all the metrics, and uh, they allow us to uh, uh, limit uh, the traffic. We can say that, uh, for example, this Hystrix command will be isolated by semaphores and uh, we don't want uh, to execute more than 10 at once. And this, uh, this way we have some protection, uh, but with uh, almost uh, zero cost. And uh, when we should uh, cho choose this, this, this kind of uh, isolation, for example, when we trust the client, we trust the network or there is no network because we get the answer from the cache. Uh, so if uh, the possibility of, uh, of latency of uh, failures is uh, small and we don't want to, s uh, to pay the cost uh, of uh, threat isolation, then we should choose uh, semaphore isolation. Uh, okay, and uh, I will show uh, how we can use Hystrix uh, in the code uh, after the break. Thank you.
will be will be more interesting because we will see uh, the code. So we will may maybe even change something and see. Okay, I see I can start. So uh, let's see how Hystrix uh, uh, work. Okay. Uh, so I have two projects because uh, one uh, there are two similar project, but uh, one is without Hystrix, and in the second one we will add Hystrix so that we can uh, use the emitter and see uh, them uh, beside, and uh, I think that it will be the best to 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 see some differences. Uh, so, but uh, okay. So this is the classic API. I don't know if you see, and uh, the same project uh, with with uh, Hystrix API uh, con uh, uh, configuration. We need to uh, enable Hystrix. Uh, of course, this is a Spring Boot application. Uh, I will also show you uh, a very interesting uh, library which supports Hystrix, Fang. Uh, that's why I have also this annotation. And we will uh, use uh, annotations uh, which will uh, generate some aspects for us. Uh, and that's why aspects are, are, are also to, uh, here. And uh, But the configuration which we need is just to bin uh, one is about uh, uh, history cache aspects, and the second one is connected with uh, the scope of the of the um, uh, history uh, context. And as you can see, uh, this implementation uh, start uh, history context when uh, server receive uh, a request. And after the chain is uh, is is end, uh, it uh, this contact is shut down. Okay, so the configuration is is really simple. Uh, some few dependencies uh, in a POM, and uh, for now, uh, we have. Uh, two mm, similar uh, endpoints, right? So one and the second, they look the same, they have even the same um, uh, um, method, uh, same same API. and uh, But maybe even uh, let's try to to see that uh, they exa exa behave the exactly the same. I will. Uh, classic API is is uh, run here, and uh, the second I will uh, run through from uh, IDE. Okay. And uh, just to be sure that everything works. Uh, this is the classic API under 8081, and uh, this, uh, the second one, which uh, for now uh, is without Hystrix, but will have Hystrix, is under uh, 1992. And uh, I have a second uh, thread pool for, for this second API. This is exactly the same. Uh, it has only the different name and different port. So we can uh, we can uh, execute them at once. Let's start. And what I expect to see is that the w the, the the result will be very similar because the configuration is very similar. The code is the same at this point. Uh, oh, let's let's say that. It is about one millisecond, so we, we can say that it is exactly the same, right? Uh, okay, so <coughs> now let's 
let's see how uh, add hashtrix to our application. Uh, the simplest solution, and I will start with 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 this, is to add to our our client our this this component which is responsible for for uh, executing the the the, the request. Uh, we will add uh, annotation hashtrix command, and that's what that's why we will have. Uh, <coughs> an aspect which under the hood will create history command and uh, will give us uh, the, the protection and uh, let's see what will be the difference okay uh for now there are very similar there are some uh differences because of the uh, the one was started and the connections were established uh however let's make some uh some changes in behavior of the dependency uh Okay. They still behave the same, but uh, uh, it is okay because we do we didn't uh, um, exceed uh, history timeout. Now let's uh, set one uh, thousand and two hundred milliseconds. And uh, this should change uh, the things. Okay. Uh, as we see something, uh, at some point uh, we see the difference is quite huge because the classic version without hashtrix uh, responds within one second. Uh, which is, uh, but uh, maybe I will even change the deviation so so every request will respond in that in that time. And uh, so each respond uh, each request should uh, re uh, respond with with within one and uh, and one and a Point two seconds. However, we see uh, maybe maybe here we will see mm. we see that uh, the response for for classic version is about one second, and this is uh, this is the. Should be connection. I am out. Establish the connection. Okay. Uh, mm and what happens with with Hystrix? It's repeat. Uh, it it responds immediately for for ninety five percent of requests. It's because uh, requests takes more than one second request uh, takes 1.2 seconds so almost all requests are uh, rejected right and now we can try to see uh, how it looks uh, on the dashboard this is a simple application which is uh, actually uh, one single servlet and uh, here we see uh, our uh, command, which we created with this one annotation. And uh, what are these this number? Uh, maybe I will change for a second situation to 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 a little bit better. Uh, first of all. Uh, Green 
our successes. So we have more and more now all all requests uh, ends with a success. Uh, uh, blue one are the uh, short circuit. So if a circuit is open, then uh, the requ request will where where uh, return it with a fallback uh, will be s uh, visible here. Mm, but request is is, uh, mm, is a just uh, just a, a kind of error which is uh, caused by by client. And we see also how many the requests are are timeouted, rejected, and how many uh, failures. And there is uh, uh, an error rate. Uh, and this uh, number decides uh, whether to open the circuit or not. The default value is uh, 50%. If we exceed it, then uh, we will uh, the circuit will open. Uh, here we also see that the uh, current uh, throughput put is uh, 12 point a half uh, requests per second. And we see also that there is uh, the same for the cluster because we can have many hosts with the same uh, Hystrix command and they can be aggregated and uh, this dashboard can show uh, the whole picture, uh, not only uh, for, for one host, but in this example we, we have one host. And we see that uh, the median, uh, mean and uh, some of the important percentages. Uh, so we can um, understand uh, what what is the situation. Uh, also, we can see here uh, some information about thread pools. Uh, we see that we have uh, only ten uh, requests, uh, only ten threads in a pool, and we have a very small queue size, uh, five uh, mm, entries, and. Uh, we see how many execution in there is, and uh, and uh, uh, what I didn't say th is that Hystrix uh, by default uh, keeps metrics for last ten seconds uh, within ten buckets. Each bucket has uh, one second length, so on, so each statistics are are, are kept in in such a b buckets and uh, they are uh, calculated after each second. Uh, okay, let's try to, to, for example, we will add some errors, right? Half of the request should end with an error, and let's see how Hystrix will change. Uh, it's even more because uh, to we, with an error we have also some some delay. Uh, so not only errors but but also we have also uh, timeouts here. I will reduce it. Okay. And now we can see that uh, this uh, error rate, it's changed uh, uh, through the time. Um, and oh, uh, it's uh, interesting, we see one, uh, one uh, failure, right? So, so th this failure it comes from this error rate. I can, I can say that every, every request will end uh, with uh, an error or no. Uh, so let's stay with, for example, 0 0.2. And uh, as you see, uh, it reacts immediately because this this uh, metrics are alive. And if this uh, error rate is uh, above 50 percent, circuits. Uh, open and after some time he sends some request uh, to to the service and as i said if this request uh, will end with success it opens it it closes the circuit so uh, at at this point we are in this uh, we see some fluctuations because uh, we uh, sets uh, the error rate 
uh, on the value which is near the limit. Uh, but after, and what what histories uh, do? Uh, for for now, it uh, rejected free uh, uh, free uh, mm, uh, request, as some were timeouted, but m but most of them uh, were end with success. Uh, errors uh, are happening because uh, there is a problem within the code. So let's uh, give up with an errors. Let's focus on uh, latency. Uh, it will. It is near the uh, Hystrix limit, uh, so it should uh, keep uh, the circuit uh, open for for most of the time. Uh, we will see how it works. Uh, now we have. Uh, okay, it is too small. It managed to 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 fit within the limit, and now it sh it ne it's it has to uh, open the circuit. It's every every request uh, will end within a timeout. So after Hystrix notice that there is no point to ask this service. As he starts to short circuit uh, the request, and one or two uh, within a bucket uh, is uh, timeouted. This is this single request which is sent over and over again uh, to do a health check, let's say. And this is not uh, mm, some um, artifact. Artifact uh, request. It is a real uh, request from from production. Uh, so we don't we don't need to prepare any kind of uh, health health checks. Okay, uh, let's back to to the meter and maybe we will manage to to see the difference bes between two. Uh, Okay. Uh, As we can see, the uh, error rates uh, in in the meter is the same as uh, on dashboard on his dashboard. Uh, Classic version of of this API managed to uh, uh, to 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 some of the requests managed to to finish. Uh, okay, but let's see different ways of 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 using uh, Hystrix uh, because we. We can do it by annotations, and uh, I said that there is uh, another way. Uh, we can use it. We can use uh, a li library called Fang, uh, which allows us to uh, create a client to some endpoint uh, in the declarative way, which is. Uh, uh, very nice feature, How, and uh, what's more, uh, Fink has support for Hystrix, so uh, as a additional uh, feature we get uh, Hystrix. So uh, there is no uh, implementation of that interface, right? There is only uh, uh, an interface, uh, implementation will be created by, by this library, uh may maybe some one of you uh, saw that library in the past okay so now you know that it supports hystrix as well and uh, just uh, the one thing we need to change is in our controller we need to uh use 
this uh, this implementation instead uh, sorry instead uh, this uh, previous one so I will stop I will stop the process and start again we'll see <coughs> And uh, we'll see that uh, on dashboard uh, there uh, the we will have still some uh, statistics. Mm, I hope. Okay, it is stopped. Let's start. Okay, so now I even uh, we see that uh, the name is is different because. Uh, the default name is uh, the name of the class. Uh, so this is the second way how we can create uh, history command. Uh, however, uh, people from Netflix uh, uh, promote uh, more verbose uh, using way of using history. Uh, they uh, they say that it is better to use uh, to create uh, commands uh, ourselves because uh, they are uh, a kind of a API. If you see that you need in 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 order to uh, use uh, API, you need to use command. Then you know that uh, there is uh, uh, you you have a protection, right? we can agree with that or not uh, let's uh, let's see how such uh, command uh, looks like uh, mm, actually it is very simple however we need to write a uh, few lines of code uh, we extend history command and uh, such command n needs to know how to uh, execute um, the, the, the request at the end, so um, we need to pass uh, client, we need to pass parameters which are needed to, to do the request. Uh, we can also set, uh, if you want, because there are def defaults for that, uh, some, some properties for, for, uh, for the command. And uh, in case of Hystrix command, we need to implement uh, a method run, which uh, is the code which should be executed, right? So we, we wrap this code, this this line of code, which can be latent, which can fail, with a history command. And here we see also that uh, I implemented also a fallback method. A fallback, uh, in this case, return an empty value. And uh, this is a good uh, moment to talk about fallbacks, uh, because as I said, we should define fallback if uh, there is uh, some reasonable value which we can return. And uh, in many cases, such value exists. Uh, we, we just need to think uh, about them. For example, if uh, we have a service which returns uh, an ads for our page, and this service is uh, third part, it can be latent, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So uh, we want to wrap this with a hysterics command so that this dependency won't affect our site, right? A very good idea to, to use hysterics uh, for such case. And what uh, fallback, can, fallback can we define for, for such co command? It can be, for example, empty list. Our application will n won't will not get exception we want need because in case of exception we need to uh, propagate it uh, on the top and uh, deal with uh, it somehow uh, instead we will just return some value so uh, our clients i mean developers who use uh, this won't will not have to deal with exception we we'll just get some other value but uh, I think it is uh, easier to, to work that way than to deal with exceptions. Uh, 
we can, uh, instead of uh, returning entities, we can, for example, have predefined ads, right? So, or cached ads. Uh, but uh, you, you can say that this example is very simple. Mm, so maybe let's uh, think about uh, something uh, uh, more difficult. Uh, I heard about example in one uh, uh, in one company. They implement Histrix uh, for service, which uh, answers the question uh, whether uh, it was fraud detection, and uh, the service, the the result for the service. It was used to decide whether a uh, customer uh, can uh, buy something from, from the shop, right? And uh, the question is, so uh, the service uh, answer uh, whether it is blocked or not, whether the user is blocked or, 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 no, on or not. And the question is, what value, what alternative value, what fallback, what fallback can we return in such a situation? Any ideas? We need to think. <laughs> Our exception, if we do not... Uh, yeah, but uh, which value will be the best? Yeah. But if we... Yeah. The whole... Yeah, yeah. Now that's that's a very good idea because uh, let's think that uh, some time ago there was no di such service. Th we 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 didn't have fraud detection, and we earn money. The the shop works fine, but we have some problems with with some customers which were uh, not fair, right? And then we just develop this fraud detection service, and has has this logic, but. We, in the past, we live without this, right? And then everyone uh, could buy uh, in our shop, even if it was uh, a thief, right? So, uh, and we earn money, this problem wasn't so uh, huge. We, we can live with it. We can live with it uh, wi for, for a short period of time, for sure. So the fallback can be true. Uh, so, false, I mean. So, it is not blocked, right? Uh, because otherwise, if we, if we blocked everybody, uh, people from, from, from business department will come to us and kill, <laughs> right? <laughs> because the business will, won't uh, work. And uh, even in such uh, different, uh, such a difficult situation, we sometimes we can... Uh, uh, invent reasonable uh, fallback value. Uh, okay. So... <laughs> we can. We can get it from a cache, we can randomize. That depends on the problem, on the business uh, use case. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I have a one slide from documentation because this is, this is uh, very nice that uh, people from Netflix uh, explain how we should configure uh, history's command, uh, and I would like to to, uh, to talk about this uh, for a moment uh, because. When you have uh, a new service, in this case uh, wrapped with uh, Histrix command, you you need to think about uh, uh, how to uh, okay uh, how to configure it. Uh, if you uh, already has uh, similar uh, um, service on production, then you uh, maybe know some metrics uh, or, or some, some values. But uh, if you don't know anything because it is completely new, uh, then you can, for example, just put it in a production and start to observe it. 
uh, you should do it uh, when uh, system is health, when there is no issue, and uh, see it uh, how it behaves uh, under uh, a real traffic and under the high traffic. So uh, after some period of time, you can uh, you can see, for example, that uh, this dependency. Uh, in a peak uh, has uh, 30 requests per, per second uh, and uh, uh, and uh, has such metrics median so 50% of uh, requests ends with we, we uh, short uh, takes no longer than uh, 40 milliseconds 1% of requests uh, takes uh, longer than uh, takes long uh, takes more than 200 milliseconds and half percent uh, mm, takes uh, 300 milliseconds, right? And uh, with this uh, knowledge, we can uh, start to think about configuration of, of uh, Hystrix thread pool. Uh, we have this hint that we should get, uh, we should take. Uh, uh, latency in seconds from 99 percentile and multiply it by uh, request per second uh, in a peak and that's how we have uh, this six so we need six uh, threads to uh, serve all the traffic but, but it is a good idea to, to, to add some briefing room and uh, people in, the in, in Netflix likes uh, numbers like 5, 10 and 20. So that's why <laughs> they, 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 they choose 10. Uh, but uh, to be serious, uh, they have uh, only, only uh, 30 uh, history commands which needs uh, 20 threads. Usually, uh, five or ten threads is enough, uh, and uh, if you know Hystrix, they generate a lot of a lot of network traffic, and they their their commands are executed billions days uh, billions times a day, so and for them such small numbers uh, such small threads pool are enough so maybe for us uh, they can be enough too so mm, uh, let's go uh, further uh, thread pool uh, queue uh, in front of this uh, small thread pool uh, we can have a queue usually it is uh, a half of this of or uh, exactly this uh, number it is because uh, because we want to have uh, threads uh, in uh, uh, in run for for uh, for whole time. So we keep in a queue uh, half or, or single request to be executed just after uh, one thread will be free. So very short queue because we don't want to. Uh, in case of uh, latency, in case of, of failures, we don't have to uh, to have a long queue to process. Uh, then we set a thread timeout, and uh, this value should be uh, should be enough to one latent uh, request, and we should within this time uh, have a chance to do one retry with uh, uh, median latency latency right so that's th this value allows us to do two requests because maybe this second one will uh, will go to another host another instance of the this api and we'll have a uh, chance to, to meet this, uh, this uh, value, right? And if the problems with networks 
will be will, will be huge there will be uh, a big latency then uh, we will spend uh, at worst uh, 100 milliseconds uh, for for connection and uh, another 250 milliseconds for for read timeout uh, so <coughs> uh, we will end with uh, 700 milliseconds and uh, this will saturate <coughs> I'm sorry mm, the thread pool and uh, the next uh, uh, the next uh, uh, request will be rejected and uh, we should also think about uh, about uh, the connection itself it should uh, uh, meet uh, this this um, restriction as well Mm. So we should uh, 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 choose search value that uh, we will have a chance to for for ninety nine and a half percent uh, of requests to uh, to uh, be within this uh, values. Uh, okay, and a few words about uh <coughs> about problems. Uh, because w in a history dashboard, we saw that uh, these numbers change and uh, in a real life, uh, response time and failures uh, are not uh, uh, stable; they, they changed uh, in a time, and this can be caused by by uh, many things. Like, for example, uh, it can be garbage collector co collection on on our machine. It can be the same on the service machine. Uh, it can be it can be network issues. It can be uh, caused by different arguments uh, in the request can have different uh, responses so they can be different payloads uh, mm, we can have caches and uh, we can miss the cache uh, in for some uh, requests uh, some requests can cause that uh, many uh, other requests will be will be executed uh, to the to the other micro mi microservices S and uh, there are also things like uh, connected with maintainers that uh, we can have out of scale deployments and uh, things like that so uh, things are happening uh, in a ra in a real time and uh, we should expect that uh, we won't have uh, stable response time and uh, without failure uh, we should expect that uh, this will happen uh, this is uh, another uh, dashboard from 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 Hystrix, from netflix, netflix uh, production uh, as we can see uh, maybe this. Uh, let's focus on on, on this uh, command. Uh, here we have a cluster of 234 uh, hosts, <coughs> and uh, on uh, 76 uh, host circuits is open, and uh, on the rest is closed. It's because uh, we see that we have uh, timeouts. So Hystrix for 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 uh, some of the hosts takes take the decision that uh, he it needs to be to to open uh, the circuit and uh, start uh, returning uh, fallbacks instead uh, real values. Um, let's go further uh, <coughs> and when. Uh, when we see that uh, our services are, are la latent, uh, we we shouldn't uh, panic. We we shouldn't uh, reconfigure uh, things uh, because 
uh, Hystrix is doing his job. Uh, it was configured in, uh, as we say, in uh, in situation when everything was health, uh, in when traffic was high, but so so this number should be should be correct. And what uh, if we see uh, that things are latent? That means that uh, no, it it happens, and Hystrix do what sh he it sh supposed to do. Uh, we shouldn't reconfigure, uh, for example, increase the size of the thread pools and and uh, and queues, timeouts, and things like that, because we can DDoS our service uh, instead of uh, release the pressure from it, stop uh, uh, attack them, so that uh, this this uh, service can uh, recover. Uh, we can uh, cause that uh, there will be even more requests to to this service. And it will be even more difficult to uh, make the situation uh, health again. Uh, that's why uh, circuit breaker exists, and uh, we should let it work. And uh <coughs> here we see situ situation where. Uh, which is interesting because uh, we see that the problem isn't in uh, network because we have no timeouts, uh, we have no rejection, so our uh, thread pool is enough, but there is a problem with uh, errors from clients, so uh, histories can help us to, to, uh, to focus on that aspect. Uh, we know where, where to uh, look for, for, for the cause. <coughs> and if we uh, have a fallback, then even in such a situ situation like like this, uh, when almost uh, every request were uh, were not uh, executed and uh, customers uh, received uh, fallback instead, uh, as you as you can see. Uh, the HTTP status was uh, 200, so so they get uh, some value, right? They didn't get uh, 5,000 or, or uh, 400, uh, 500 or, or 400. They they got the real uh, value. And uh, you can ask why we need histories, why why maybe just uh, load balancer should be enough but uh, people uh, in netflix believes that uh, load balancers uh, are network network things and uh, they can fail as well and we shouldn't trust uh, things like that so okay they they are important then they 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 do their job we we shouldn't Resync uh, from from them. However, uh, <coughs> our application should should be designed uh, in a way that uh, it doesn't rely uh, on the infrastructure, and uh, in particular on the network in infrastructure. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, quickly, two topics: request collapsing. Uh, uh, when you want to ski, you go to the mountains, and uh, uh, you want to get to the uh, to the hill. Uh, let's say you want to to use uh, ropeway, and uh, there is, for example, a search device, single seat, right? Uh, when you are the first person, or there is no queue, you immediately sit and go uh, on the top, right? And uh, but if there is a queue, then you need to wait until uh, there will be a free seat for you, and the uh, mm, throat put for this uh, kind of uh, ropeway is uh, limited. Uh, an alternative is uh, a cable car. You can uh, have uh, 50 or 100 person uh, in a one one time. However, uh, when you come to this uh, 
uh, when you arrive uh, to to this uh, ropeway, you will have to wait because it uh, won't go immediately. It will wait until some period of time, right? Because uh, it uh, goes uh, every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes. So even if there is no queue and you are the only person on the station, you will have to wait, right? But uh, maybe the throughput is better for for uh, for this device, uh, and this is uh, similar to request collapsing because if you have uh, many requests uh, uh, using the same command with different parameters, okay, uh, then without re uh, request collapsing, uh, you. Uh, each request will be executed with within a separate thread and will use separate connection. Uh, when we have enough uh, threads, enough connection, it is okay. But sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, we want, if we uh, use uh, request collapsing, we can uh, uh, save, for example, on the connections because uh, uh, request collapsing works like that, that from each command, which is which is uh, also executed, uh, so the, the programmer needs to create a command and execute them, but after that, uh, a special collapser takes the arguments from these commands and uh, prepare a batch request to, to our dependency. Of course, the dependency needs to know how to respond to such a batch request, and when answer is also, uh, let's say, for example, a map, uh, and after that we need to uh, put the answer to the separate commands. And uh, because uh, Histrix use command patterns, such uh, tricks is, is possible, and uh, we can uh, save uh, on a thread uh, and on a connection. Be and but uh, this advantage is uh, uh, this is uh, this happens under the hood. But Histrix uh, needs to know how long it should uh, wait for new requests until it uh, do the job. So and this uh, the size of this window is the cost we will pay for the solution. For example, if we set it into ten milliseconds, then. Uh, an average cost will be five milliseconds because we can uh, we can be at the beginning of the window, we can be at the middle of the window, and at the end, and uh, an average will be a half of the of the window. So uh, it can be useful, but uh, only in case where we have, for example, a, a large traffic, and we can. That way, we can uh, reduce uh, the number uh, threads and connection needed to to uh, solve that. And uh, 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 one important thing is that we can use this uh, feature uh, in the two contexts, in a global context. So across all Tomcat threads, across all the users, we can we can collapse uh, requests from other users or if it is not a case for us we can uh, use it in a smaller uh, uh, context uh, so we can use it only for one, for one user uh, okay uh, it it can uh, help us to uh, deal with code complexity and uh, with modeling the things because sometimes we start with a uh, great uh, model of the objects and uh, after all uh, we see that it it's, uh, fits the business but it doesn't fit the performance and we need to, to change the model to, 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 to fit the, uh, the performance and sometimes uh, we can uh, uh, we can leave these performance problems for 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 lower layer for Histrix, and uh, stay with uh, uh, mm, 
object model as we want to have. Um, uh, this is uh, somehow similar to, to, to Hibernate uh, because uh, Hibernate uh, tries to um, uh, connect towards uh, objects and uh, uh, related that database. And uh, there is a very good uh, post uh, about uh, the results uh, of uh, and, and problems of uh, this approach. And uh, the author uh, mm, says that it is similar to, to the, the Vietnam for uh, the, the hibernate for, for IT is like a Vietnam for, for United States, right? So uh, if you would like, I, I, w I would encourage you to, to read this. It is very uh, interesting article. And uh, okay, we, we said about the cost, uh, what we can uh, uh, set up. We can, we can, for example, limit the request which we want to have uh, in a one batch because within this 10 milliseconds we can have uh, 10,000 requests which will uh, be uh, merged together and uh, maybe this is too much for our dependency, for our service, so we can limit it. Uh, okay. Uh, request collapsing uh, can be. Uh, we can use Fang for that. For this, we can use uh, annotations. Uh, I will show you just uh, this uh, hardest way. Mm. So that's how uh, a, a lot of code, uh, if we want to write uh, this collapser ourselves, uh, it, it looks uh, uh, complex. However, it do uh, simple things. Uh, Ferx, uh, it, it is similar to the uh, normal uh, history comment. It takes client and, and query params, and uh, we can uh, set up the, the, the mm, uh, this window and <coughs> we, we, we need to uh, specify what is the argument because after uh, in some po some point of time uh, collapser will take all the arguments for from the comments and and uh, prepare a batch uh, batch uh, request <coughs> and here we see that uh, from from all the requests, uh, we take an ar the, the arguments. Uh, uh, sorry, this this is mapping the response, the the, the last part of the job. Uh, here we here we see that we we, we take the uh, uh, request, get the arguments. Uh, in this example, a list is enough, and we send uh, the list to the client. Our client can uh, can uh, answer to the one query or for many queries. Yes, we, we have two endpoints, so we can, uh, our endpoint can uh, do batch queries. Uh, and if we get the answer, we need to, uh, for, for each request, we need to set the response. So we need, in, in the batch response, we need to find uh, the, the result for the arguments from our request and set to the, so the, to the as a response, right? The, the the other lines are just uh, boilerplate code, so they are not important. The, the, the idea is as you, as you saw. Uh, and the last thing, uh, request caching. Request caching, uh, the uh, uh, I s yeah, the, this, this uh, known uh, sentence. There is only two hard things in computer science: cache I invalidation and naming things, right? And uh, caching in Hystrix is a little bit easier because uh, we don't need to invalidate it because it always happens in within the user request. So 
usually we don't it is very short time so we don't want we don't have a need to invalidate it however if we need do something like uh, get set get within a user request uh, Histrix allows us uh, it is uh, possible uh, but uh, typically we just want to cache uh, the command and we see uh, user request is this this original request which comes us comes to us from uh, from 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 our customer and uh <coughs> in a service layer there were uh two uh, Hystrix command executed uh, maybe because uh, two different teams work uh, on a different things and they didn't notice that they do the same job uh, s they just need the same information so they uh, use the same command in in Hystrix command is an API uh, and we can, of course, change the code, uh, uh, start with uh, executing a command and then pass this, uh, the, the result of the command to the, to the service below. However, we can also use uh, request caching. And again, this is because uh, Hystrix use uh, command uh, pattern. So, uh, command knows about arguments and uh, Hystrix can can see that uh, these arg arguments, uh, commands with thi these arguments were executed just before or in a scope of this user request, but uh, be before uh, now, and can uh, remember the value returned to us, so it can reuse it. Because in a w within a single user request, the, the most probably uh, this 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 uh, response would be the same so there is no point to ask the the service again we can uh, use uh, stored value uh, i had an example but uh, maybe let's focus on a code it is more interesting i think uh, how to uh, implement such caching uh the easiest one the easiest way for for example if we have uh, uh, a command we can uh, specify uh, a method which will return uh, a cache key so our cache key wi will be uh, query because it is as a string, right? So if the same command with the same string will be executed within the the same user request, uh, Hystrix will I I if we if we override this method, then Hystrix will start caching this, and we instead of uh, a number of requests, we will have uh, only one. And uh, uh, other way to achieve that is uh, uh, Fang uh, can do this, and also we can uh, we can uh, use uh, annotations. Uh, rest. Let's say right, this is a classic one. We can, we can I in a history annotations we can uh, uh, define fallback method. So this is about fallback, but we can also uh, define uh, command key no rise. I don't see this. Bit fallback caching caching. Ah, sorry. Uh, there is an annotation cache result and we say that this will be cache key because we, we can have many parameters history needs to know which which is the key and these two annotates will uh, uh, enable 
caching for this uh, his six command. So uh, I personally think that uh, using annotation for things like mm, annotation and 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 uh, and aspects for things like uh, metrics monitoring and f protecting some code is 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 a good idea. However, as as I said, uh, Hisix designers uh, prefers doing it uh, by hand, and uh, maybe I will end at this point because it is already two hours. So thank you for your attention. I hope you are something new, and see you in the future. <laughs>